guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy, or as my therapist likes to call me, help. Today, um, I'm going to be going through the questions which you guys sent to me a while back. It was quite a while back now um, because I'm just fucking lazy um, and I haven't done it yet, but I'm doing it now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna move on to the questions. Hopefully uh, there's some good ones on here. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's start off with uh, the one from Zenareth. Um, it says, um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Um, space, because I just want to fuck off away from all of you. <laughs> Joking, maybe, little bit joke, small joke. <laughs> I'd actually really like to live um, in the USA. Um, I really enjoyed my time out there when I was there before. Uh, I'm going back uh, to the US um, in April, May time next year. I'm going to LA with my friend Louise. It's gonna be out of this world. <laughs> Next one, fave game that you've completed so far this year from Coconati. Um, I was a bit late in the game of playing The Last of Us, so I'm probably gonna say that. I know The Last of Us is now um, available on the uh, PS uh, Plus at the moment, so download that shit. I don't care if you're scared, afraid, I was fucking shitting myself at those clickers, but I did it. I fucking did it, and it's done. And now, we've got Last of Us 2, so you need to get on that hype, play it now so you're ready for part two. Bitches. Next question, uh, that high gamer, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? I would probably say invisibility. Or maybe like Mystique's powers, um, because she can like morph into whoever she wants to be. Just be like a chameleon sort of person, that's what I want. Chameleon powers, and then like be invisible, so I can sneak into the boys' locker room, see that dick, and I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, but anyway, um, I think that that would be a great power. Camouflage. Check it. Um, finger guns. Else, let's have a look. Will you ever be giant, Amy? I am giant, Amy. Uh, who is that from? Uh, G33KG. Next question. Uh, Retro Gamer Girl says, will you ever visit me? Yes, I really want to come to Australia. Um, there's so many um, Aussie guys that I really want to come out and meet. I will come to your house as well, Emily, and I will be sleeping on your couch. I'm house trained, so don't worry, I won't piss everywhere. Um, I uh, have nappies for that. <laughs> But I have been to Australia twice. Uh, it just sucks that the two times that I've been before, I hadn't met everybody yet. So yeah, definitely will be coming back again. Dave as well, real Dave Brown, you asked when you're, and I'm coming back to Australia soon. Soon, bitches, I will be coming back and you'll never get rid of me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, peace. Uh, Kusta Nerd asks, what was your first video game? Um, 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 um. I rem really remember playing uh, Duck Hunt, I think it was. Uh, and then I really remember playing uh, Mickey Mouse's uh, adventure thingy. Wait, I think I've got it. Yeah, that is what I played uh, when I was a kid. Look, it's still got the flipping two for 20 pounds on it. It's a bit broken, but I do love it. Oh no, it's not two for 20, it's two for 30. I got it wrong. Got it wrong, but I can't do fucking maths. It was my first game that I got for my PlayStation 1 and I still have it. Um, other than that, it's in fairly good condition. Look, uh, next question. Uh, Nuka uh, X Cola, what is your dream job? Um, obviously, like, I'd love to have um, my own business and stuff, but I'm actually really fortunate at the moment to be in a job that I really love. But yeah. Uh, dream job, work for myself. I think I'd make a good business person. Get that. Buy my fuck nuggets merch, bitches. <laughs> Where are we? Geeky Diana asks, which Star Trek is your favorite? Um, I 
think I'd have to say it was Star Trek Next Generation, um, just because that was one I remember watching the most growing up. Um, I love, love, love the films as well. Um, I just thought that the films were amazing when they came good. But also Star Trek is on Netflix. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop now just because I'm going overboard. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, no. Annie Valoop asks, if you actually were a nugget, in which sauce would you like to be dipped the most? Um, probably barbecue, just because it's one of the classics, but also, also, if you're from the UK, you can also get um, sweet curry dip, um, and that's probably one of my favorites as well. Not a lot of other countries do it, so um, yeah, if you ever come to the UK, get that McDonald's sweet curry dip and a nugget, dip that shit in, pop it in the mouth, Life will be changed, I tell you. I tell you. Okay, uh, where are we? Paradise Game asked, would you rather give up gaming or social media? Um, if you'd asked me three years ago, I would have been like social media, but now that I have this like network of friends and um, things like that, like I just don't know if I could physically uh, give that up, but I guess if I didn't have games, I wouldn't have anything to talk about, so probably I'd give up the social media. Bye. See you later, bitches. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Amiga Jack and Rapture, you have asked quite a few questions, so I'm just going to pick one of these. What's my favourite food cuisine? Uh, chicken nuggets. But actually, sometimes... Um, shock horror. Ooh, uh, I do actually really enjoy a good old steak. Uh, I like my steak blue as well, so I like it almost like I want it to moo, like that when I cut into it, like mooing pain. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna trigger so many vegans. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't like a vegan chicken nugget, I promise you. Okay, I'm gonna do another this, this question because I really like this one. Uh, if you, um, Amiga Jack and Ratchet also asks, if it was your last day on earth, what are some of the things you'd like to do the most? Okay, I'd throw myself off a cliff. <laughs> Um, I'd love to spend it with my family and friends, like anyone would. Um, but I'd like to do really random shit, like do a roast. Do a roast on everyone. <laughs> Just gonna roast a lot of you before you get roasted by like the world blowing up. Double roast, see? I'm helping out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a great question. Uh, okay. Network Mark 2.0 asks, what bit of merch uh, would you most likely and least likely give up to save a life? Um, most likely give up merch wise i only get stuff if i really really want it i'm thinking like maybe a game that i don't really like um that i'd probably give up the game if that counts as merch uh, and the least likely i'd give up would be uh my uncharted statue that would be what i'd be most likely to uh give up uh, no, uh leah leah um, 83 Leanne, bless her, asks, when did you realise you were insta-sensation? I'm not an insta-sensation, babe. Like, I'm an insta model. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, that's really, really sweet, um, but I am, I'm really not. Um, but I'm happy that anyone even follows me. Like, I just... I do what I do because I love it and I love the friends and the community and um, if people like what I do then fab, um, if they don't, I don't care. Crago Games asks, what's the funniest joke you know? Okay, um, I would say my life, um, <laughs> such a classic comment isn't it now? My life's a joke, right? I'd say probably funniest joke I know is uh, this one, so um, uh, there was a man and he was sitting down um, a lake on a bench on his lunch break eating a sandwich um, and this little old lady was walking her dog a little chihuahua and she like came down and sat next to him on the bench anyway so she, he's sitting there eating his little sandwich and the dog is like by him like pining at this sandwich um, and obviously wanting to have some and then the man goes um, to the little old lady can I throw him a little Anyway, so um, the little old lady's like, yeah, 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 great. So she picks up, the, he picks up the dog and throws him in the lake. <laughs> Yeet the dog. <laughs> That's my best joke. So thanks, Greg. 
Jessica710 asks, how and why did you get started streaming? Um, I started streaming um, because I saw friends doing it and I thought it looked like a laugh. Um, just because I really enjoy um, chatting to myself mostly. So I just thought if I'm chatting to myself, why can't I just be chatting to other people? Uh, next question. Uh, Spawnpoint asks, would you give up nuggets uh, for life for £100,000? No. I think I might give it up if, like, if it was another scenario, like it was like nuggets and like the, my cat being alive, I would choose the nuggets. <laughs> uh, next question, um, Stephen Player One asks, uh, if you had to choose, would you rather do Smeagol or Gollum? Are they the same person? Like, <laughs> I guess I'd probably go for Gollum just because he's a bit more like. <laughs> He's a bit more aggressive, isn't he? Like, Gollum's more aggressive. Smeagol's a bit namby-pamby. You don't want that wet dick, you want aggressive dick. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to do this. Okay, next question. Uh, uh, Igus Gamer asks, uh, when did you start with Instagram and what inspired you to post? Um, I actually saw some posts from gaming folk, um, like, taken back by how many people were posting about the games, and I was like, Oh my god, I've got a lot of games, why can't I do this? So I decided that um, I'd take a picture um, of uh, Nino Kuni 2 with uh, like literally no effort at all. I literally put the game down with the controller and I went, and that was it. And then like, I had a huge response from it. And then I saw people like um, Serenity Area 52, um, Arterist, uh, Miloverse, and I was like, oh my god, I have to follow all of these people because I was like, oh, this is a really fun community to be part of. So, so thanks, gaming folk. Uh, what's the next question? Uh, Ginger B Gamer asks, uh, do I believe in aliens? Um, yeah, I'd say yeah. There are so many other planets, there's got to be something else on there, whether it's an alien or not. I don't really care. It could be like a fucking little beetle and like it's on another planet so it counts as an alien as far as I'm concerned. Uh, aliens, tick, real. But oh, my thumb was so wonky then. What the fuck's wrong with my... Uh, Leonot GG. Uh, would you rather be a drag queen with a foot fetish or a dragon queen with a food fetish? Uh, I'd be the dragon queen with a food fetish because dragons are fit. Yeah. And a food fetish, that's like, that's not anything. I mean, I think we all have a food fetish. I mean, we all just keep eating. I've just got a fetish of food. Or do you mean like sexual, like fetish? Do you mean like dragon with like whipped cream on its tits? <laughs> dragon with a food fetish. Yeah, tick. Uh, next one. What's the most prized game merch in your collection uh, from Teach You Designs? I'd probably still say my Uncharted statue. Like I said before, it's just, um, I love Uncharted and Nathan Drake is probably one of my favorite gaming characters of all time. So for me, yeah, Uncharted statue. Taylor Twilly asks, who is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, Togepi is my favorite. Um, just because he's just so bloody cute. Um, I like a lot of the, like, the first gen ones, probably more. Um, but yeah, I do, um, love Togepi. Valula asks, what made you start gaming Instagram and your opinion of the current state of the platform? Well, I kind of already answered the first bit, but my opinion on the current state of the platform is don't take any notice of it. Yeah, it is shit when you don't get a lot of likes, you know, especially when you spent sort of two, three hours editing a photo. But, you know, as long as you love what you do and you are happy and you're proud of what you're doing, like that's what should matter really. I kind of have to take a step back sometimes and you have to realize that, you know, it's just a platform for posting pictures that you're, you know, your pictures. And as long as you're happy with that, that's what really matters um, as far as I'm concerned. But also, Where are we? Um, Javi Geek says, how do you take people that thinks girls can't be gamers? Gamers. I just don't really feel like there should be a stereotype. It should just be like gamers. There shouldn't be female, male, you know, you could be whoever you want to be. Like you could be a cat and you can be a gamer. I don't care. Like as far as I'm concerned, you know, the gender part of it should not be part of it. I'm definitely not agreeing with it. Um, but I definitely just think that there should be no gender filter on being a gamer. You are just 
a gamer. Next questions. Uh, Ray Ray uh, Barard says, how many nuggets are too many nuggets for you? Um, a while back, uh, I did a um, thing where I was trying to eat 100 chicken nuggets. I failed. I ended up eating 60 of them, um, which I feel pretty proud of. Um, afterwards, I was like in a bit of a meat coma, but I'm going to attempt to eat 100 again. When I um, hit 500 Twitch subscribers, I feel like that's something, a life goals, you know? Um, next question from Louise Hind. Which Pokemon do you find the sexiest? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a good Pokemon that'd be like, sexy fuckable pokemon <laughs> this is like such a hard question i just fuck them all <laughs> just a big orgy of pokemon maybe rayquaza <laughs> maybe pikachu pikachu in a bra i just <laughs> what um, we're moving on from that um wc818 well which was better Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit? Uh, I'm gonna go with Lord of the Rings. Um, I absolutely love The Hobbit films, I really did, but I just feel like they just weren't as gritty as the um, Lord of the Rings films. There was something a bit more raw about them, I think because like there wasn't as much CGI used as there was in the um, Hobbit films. But if I had to choose one or the other, I'd pick Lord of the Rings. Blonde X Gamer says, uh, who's your favourite Lord of the Rings character? I'd say um, Legolas, just because he's, I mean, he's a bit easy on the eye as far as I'm concerned. Where are we? So next one, um, Ads02 says, um, what's your favourite chocolate slash snack food? Uh, crispy M&Ms or Milky Way stars? Really, really like those. Um, but I'm a bit of a snob like when it comes to chocolate. Um, I like chocolate with chilli in it as well. So I think that was the last question on there. Uh, sorry if I missed any. Um, I'll probably do another Q&A at some point soon. Um, if you like this one, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bitches. Uh, if you've got any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to answer any, any other questions you guys have. Thumbs up if you like this video and thumbs down if you think I'm a scare. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many thumbs down now. <laughs> it's gonna be like the most disliked video on YouTube. So see you later guys. Thanks again for watching.